fed to alligators. That's how 46-year-old Amanda Hayes concealed the dismembered corpse of her former husband, Grant Ruffin Hayes' ex-girlfriend, Laura Ackerson. Hayes was recently found guilty of the grisly crime, and Daily Mail TV has been covering this case from the beginning. In July 2011, 27-year-old mother of two, Laura Ackerson, vanished from her North Carolina home. At the time, Laura was involved in a bitter custody battle with her ex-boyfriend, musician Grant Hayes, and his actress wife, Amanda, over her sons Grant Jr. and Gentle. When the single mom went to the Hayes' apartment to discuss child support, Grant murdered her and dismembered her corpse with a power saw. According to prosecutors, Grant and Amanda then loaded coolers containing the body parts into a U-Haul and drove 1,200 miles to Texas. Once there, they tried to dispose of the body with acid, but when that didn't work, they dropped Laura's remains piece by piece in a creek to be eaten by alligators. 11 days later, Laura's dismembered remains were found. Grant and Amanda were taken into custody, and in 2014, both were convicted of murder back in North Carolina. Grant was sentenced to life, while Amanda received 13 years for her role in the deadly attack. Now, four years later, officials in Texas have convicted Amanda for her barbaric disposal of Laura's body. With this second conviction, Amanda will now serve an additional 20 years. And joining us now is CrimeOnline.com's Nancy Grace. So, Nancy, acid and alligators. Obviously, the details here very unusual as well as gruesome. How did investigators piece this case together? Well, you'd think between acid and alligators, Jesse, that the killers could have gotten rid of the evidence. Not so. Catch this, Jesse. When they finally get to the swamplands in Texas where they want to get rid of the body and feed it to the alligators, believe it or not, Environmental Protection had a motion sensor camera set up out in the middle of nowhere, and it picked up a woman getting rid of boxes of chemicals. Those boxes reveal the muriatic acid stamp on it. So the investigators go out, they find the vials of muriatic acid, and they link it back to the defendants. Then, of course, you've got a torso and a leg that managed to wash up. So it wasn't as easy as they thought it was to get rid of a body. That's how they got convicted. And Nancy, I think a lot of people wondering, why didn't Amanda get life in prison like her husband Grant? Well, arguably, uh, she should have, and I believe she should have. But the jury, remember there's two jurisdictions. You've got the Raleigh area jury where the death occurred, and then you've got the Texas area where they got rid of the body. And believe it or not, a murder can be tried either where the murder occurs or where the body is disposed of, that swamp in Texas. These two go all the way from the Raleigh area to Texas with a dismembered body in a cooler in the car. Think about it. Anyway, uh, she was found guilty of second degree murder in the Raleigh area, not first degree, and that is why her sentence is less than her husband's. I completely disagree with that. Okay, as always, thank you, Nancy.